What's up guys, it's Master Aquatics bringing you guys another video. So right now we're looking at the 20 gallon tank. In this video I just want to update you guys on this tank and I also want to update you guys on the 29 gallon tank that's outside. But first, updating you guys on the shiners. I still have my baby bluegill in here and he is doing great. He's getting big. I changed out their water as you can see. It's clean for the most part. A few uh, bits of pieces of poo over there but everything's all gravy and uh, they're really hungry so I'm going to show you guys a good feeding uh, for these guys so check it out all right so I got some tetra color flakes here sorry you can't really see it but I highly recommend this food they quickly fell in love with this food and they absolutely love it I fed them the bug bites yesterday they like that too but when it comes to the flakes they don't mess around they'd rather have this than any than any other type of food so if you want to buy this and feed it to your fish you can click on the link down below in the description it'll you can buy one of these through Amazon and clicking on the link will help support the channel you'll also be able to provide uh, nutrients and all kinds of good stuff to your fish by feeding them tetra colored flakes let's go ahead and feed these guys and I'll show you guys why I recommend tetra colored flakes and as you can see they attack that stuff pretty quick and uh, aggressively and these guys are getting big they're they're growing really fast and they're growing really fond of me as well they are not scared of me at all like they used to be I remember uh, before they could not stand me like they would just freak out whenever they saw me or if I have my TV on or my cell phone on at night or any type of lighting they would freak out I could hear them flopping out um, from the surface of the tank hitting the glass lid right here it's crazy but now these guys are extremely calm you know I can stick my hand in here and they will be okay they won't be uh, too scared but if I would have done that back then like when I first got these guys it would have been chaos in this tank but it uh, looks like they want some more food so as usual these guys want to eat I'm gonna throw in some more flakes grabbing some tetra color flakes pinch number two throw that pinch in here I threw in a lot this time and they are just going for that stuff they are going bananas look at how fast they eat that stuff even the baby bluegill oh where'd he go right there he's having the time of his life right now in this little 20 gallon tank extremely healthy fish um, they're very happy um, unfortunately these guys are not my pets okay these guys they are food for my largemouth bass fortunately I have to keep my largemouth bass alive it's, I mean it's a part of nature in the wild they eat these guys all the time and the reason why I'm taking care of these guys and feeding them is making sure that these guys don't have any parasites so I medicate them I'm feeding them so they can be a little bit more fattier and more juicier I guess you could say for my largemouth bass the gut loading them is what they call it so I just want to make sure that my largemouth bass has the best of the best and to do that you can catch your own food medicate it and feed it for your largemouth bass that's probably the most natural way and best way and cleanest way to make sure that your largemouth bass has a perfect and healthy dinner every time so it looks like these guys have had enough and their water is clean sponge filter is pretty clean Hang on the back filters pretty clean. Oh, did you guys order any of the hang on the back filters from AquaClear? You guys need to get one for your aquarium. These things are amazing. I don't even have carbon in this thing. It's cleaning the water and it's doing its job. I know a lot of people say carbon doesn't even do anything to begin with. I feel like it makes a slight difference. It definitely keeps the water smelling clean. It doesn't really let the tank linger with that fishy odor. But I'm not using carbon in this thing because this is mainly like a feeder or a quarantine tank. Right now it's being as, it's being used as a feeder tank to feed my largemouth bass. Again, I don't keep carbon in there because I medicate them with Pemafix. So these guys are nice and fed now and they're doing good. We're going to move on to the 29 gallon tank. Alright guys, so we are in the backyard of my house and this is the 29 gallon tank where I'm keeping this bullfish. And as you can see, he seems like he's doing okay. Um, he's a little skinny. Um, I haven't really been feeding these guys heavily because um, they're not used to being in an aquarium and eating 
uh, from someone's hand and stuff like that. So I've been slowly just leaving food in here and then just leaving. And when I come back, most of the food is gone. Um, and now they're not hiding anymore like they used to, but that one does not look so good. That one looks like he's, I don't know, he's not as gold as he used to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys a really good water change and really help clean these and really give these guys some clean water. But before I do that, I'm going to feed these guys and see if they're willing to eat on camera. I'm going to try two foods. The first one that I have here is Bug Bites, the bottom feeder formula. And then I have the Bug Bites cichlid formula. And these were $8 a bottle. So I'm really hoping these work. I haven't really fed these guys bug bites. Let's see if they like it. Here we go. So I just threw in some food. All right, so yeah, it looks like they're eating the food now. Um, looks like they know what food is. Uh, catfish needs to eat that. Is it just me or is the mouth on this guy uh, pretty ripped up? I think there's been some fighting going on here. And a lot of people were upset saying that I was overstocking this tank and all this stuff. These fish, I am not going to keep. This, this guy right here. This guy, I don't know if my largemouth bass will eat that guy, but I might use him as bait. Actually, I am going to use this guy as bait, but this guy is going to be fed to my largemouth bass. These guys are going to be fed to my largemouth bass. Uh, this guy needs to heal up before I feed him to my largemouth bass. He's still beat up from last time uh, uh, Albert tried to eat him, and he managed to survive that. So this guy is uh, a trooper. He's, uh, he's still alive and well. Even with his tail being messed up like that. This guy made a full recovery. So I'm surprised. Um, I give this guy props. He's def he's definitely a survivalist. Um, <laughs> but again, this, this tank is dirty. That worm is still there. I'm going to get that out and just clean this tank. And uh, But before I do that, I'm going to try feeding these guys again. But this time, I'm going to feed them and I'm going to walk away so they don't see me. I'm thinking that's why they don't eat is because they see me so they get nervous um, and I'm gonna leave my GoPro in there and get some shots for you guys so check it out okay guys so I went ahead and I threw in some food in here and I made sure to throw right in front of the GoPro so that way I can get all of this footage for you guys and as soon as I threw the food in there I went ahead and I went inside and I stayed inside for about 15 minutes uh, because I didn't want to be out there in the freezing cold while these guys try to get comfortable to eat. Uh, so obviously, you know, I made it rain on these guys and uh, at first the, it, the food didn't really pique their interest. Um, actually, it never really did. Um, a few of them went for it and a few of them ate, you know, a few pieces here and there. But none of them were, were really actively eating um and really just trying to beef up they were you know really picky it seemed the only fish that were eating were those bass minnows they were the only ones that were eating all the other fish that i recently just put in here they were not eating at all um, and i really want these guys to eat because i really want these guys to get fat and juicy for my largemouth bass so that way you know he can really enjoy his food and uh, that way the food that i'm feeding him is just packed with more nutrients after seeing how these guys were not eating their food i couldn't leave all that uneaten food in there so i decided to get my python water changer which by the way will make water changes a whole lot easier you can buy one from Amazon check the link down in the description to get yourself one so that way you don't have to carry around buckets of water all day when you do your water changes so when I lowered the water in the tank to the amount that I wanted it I started to go ahead and took out started taking out all of the stuff in the aquarium because I wanted to re aquascape it I really didn't like the way that it looked I mean, I did like it, but I, I really wanted to change it and make it a little bit more suitable for the fish that were in there. A lot of these fish are small, and they they really need some hiding places from the much bigger fish. Um, 
which is kind of ironic how I'm putting this much care into them just for them to, you know, die because tomorrow I might be going fishing and I'm going to be using some of these guys' as baits or feeding uh, my largemouth bass. But anyways, I decided to move some things around and I found the worm that I threw in there about a week or two ago to feed this guy, but he didn't want to eat. So the worm is still in there. I took out the dead one, but again, I'm moving stuff around, and everybody is pretty calm while I'm doing this. Nobody's really freaking out that my hand is in there, um, <laughs> and uh, it was fun doing this. Um, I really enjoy aquascaping my tanks. I really do. I don't do it as often as I, as I, as I should. I should definitely aquascape more, especially since I have multiple tanks. I can do a, diff a few different things. And also, aquascaping is one of the best things that you can do in the hobby. I will be getting more stuff for this aquarium. Right now, I'm, I don't really have too many rocks and only have two pieces of wood in this aquarium. I do plan on getting more. Um, I just really got to find a really good spot for some more rocks and uh, some better wood. Um, and I haven't really been fishing in an area where there's too much of that. Um, but anyway, so they manage through the water change. Everything was okay. Um, this is how the new aquascape looks. Um, I tried to create like a little bridge for them to hide under with the rocks on the moss covering them. Anyway, so my name is Master Aquatics. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like the video, subscribe, take care, and bye.